welcome back to my channel guys today we are going to talk about white spongy nevus which is also known as the canine disease based on the person who described the disease by sir cannon in 1935 it is also known as the congenital leukokeratosis because of its clinical appearance leuko mean white and keratosis mean increase amount of keratin it is also known as familiar because of its genetical pattern white appearance folded dysplasia of mucous membrane this was described by canon in 1935 etiology being it is a genetic disorder which is autosomal dominant right in this there is a defect in fourth and 13th gene which lead to expression in keratin defective keratin production in spinous layer it is also associated with hpv 16 clinically there is no sex predilection because it's a autosomal disease it is congenital in oral cavity you will see a widespread whitish lesion which is involving cheek palate gingiva full of the mouth also sometimes the tongue in mucosa it will appear as thickened a very thick folded or sometimes corrugated corrugated seems like a dry mud cracked dry mud kind of appearance it's it's soft spongy texture it is white in color and the area which is a ragged white area which can be scrapped off without any bleeding when you scrap off it there will be no bleeding see in psoriasis you will also find white scaled lesions when you scrapped off white scaled region in psoriasis there will be bleeding bleeding will be present in psoriasis but it will be absent in white spongy nevus it is also considered as a scrapable lesion so it can be used as a differentiator from leukoplakia ligand planus or even osmf because it affect mucous membrane the similar lesion can be found in vagina labia anus rectum or even in nasal cavity because there also we can find mucous membrane white spongy knee was not associated with skin lesions because it is a mucous membrane lesion we see in the name right dysplasia of mucous membrane it's a lesion of mucous membrane it is not a lesion of skin on histopathology we found that epithelium is thick and hyperperacketosis and acanthosis I explained all of these in my main video where I explained the red and white lesions real concept behind it you can check out that video basal layer is intact spinous layer because we are seeing that the main pathology occur in spinous layer we will found in spinous layer that is intracellular edema pyknotic nuclei can be found there Perinuclear keratin condensation, eosinophilic as tangled masses of keratin tonofilament. So you will find a great amount of keratin in this area. In submucosa, mild inflammatory cells can be seen, cannot be seen because it's a congenital disease. Inflammation very, will be very rare. You may find inflammation secondary to this pathology. Treatment, there is no such treatment for this. It is benign lesion. So uh, minor surgical treatment sometimes the scraping of the lesion will be sufficient prognosis will be very good regular mouthwash for oral hygiene can be used there is no chances of it turning into a malignancy it, it is very rare I wouldn't say chances are zero but it is very rare right so this is white spongy nevus to differentiate it with other pathology we discussed here only 
don't worry in the last i'll also give you a differential diagnosis for all of the red and white lesions and the skin lesions thank you very much we will meet again in our next lecture